Hi, y'all, and welcome to Monday Night's Treasure Vortex with Gypsy Jewels from YouTube's Zero Discrimination, as well as her website, gypsydigs.com, and myself, Amanda Digger de Gaz. Tonight, we have a special guest, Steph Tangway. And before we bring her in, hey, Gypsy, how are you doing this evening? Hey, 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 I'm doing great. Doing awesome. great. Um, good, good. I am trying to figure out this new speaker. Um, a chat because I have my laptop this time and oh. I may need some direction. Uh, All right, you want to click you know. on the Steph Tangway episode, and uh, it should I say May seventh. And then for some reason, it mm-hmm. says May sixth underneath it because today it is the sixth. In queue. Yeah, it says in queue. Nope, you've gone too far. Back out. Okay, what do I do? <laughs> Back out. Okay, mm-hmm. let me back out here. Back out, come on. Okay. So it should show now what I do. Steph Tangway, it should show a play and an add to a queue. You just mm-hmm. want to scroll down. It should say May 6th, special guest, T- Steph Tangway, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, Facebook page, and keep going down. And you'll see, write a comment here. And there's a comment from Steph and a comment from me. Hmm. No, nothing. I can't scroll down. It's like it stopped. Any any chance you went to Facebook and clicked on the link? I don't have it on my laptop, Facebook, so I can't. Do that. Okay. I just do it my phone. Let me share it to you. You'd have to share it through email. Uh, text. Oh, no, yeah, because no. it goes to your phone. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> don't worry about it. We'll figure it out. So, I don't know. Hmm. Let me just bump out of here, and I'll try to get back in to... Treasure Vortex. Let me start this over. But right. anyway, right. uh, while I'm trying to figure this out, no, nope, it says it's already in queue and it's at 19 seconds. I don't know what that's about. Maybe. So I got out this weekend. <laughs> I will email it to you once yeah, I get my phone working that. again. Um, I actually got out mudlarking because we had some storms come in this last week. And I was like, oh, why not? Um, found some pretty neat stuff. I got a uh, doll head that actually has glass eyes. Um, I think one because of the fire, it, it burst. And the other, I could see it in the dirt. So I kept the dirt in it and I put it in a little bag. And I went to go put the bag in my big bag that I carry, the side bag, and the wind caught the bag. <laughs> and it, yeah. like, ripped it out of my hands. And I'm like, no! And it fell, and the doll head broke. Um, so it's in three pieces, but three pieces Aww. that I can easily uh, glue back together. <laughs> so I will be doing Good that. Um it's all right. It happens. And then um, I found this little, um, it's like the size of my pinky and super thin. Uh, I saw it on like, I don't know, I did the Google photos with it and took a picture and looked it up and it came up as an opium bottle. Now, um, mm-hmm. back when uh, opium, like, if you did any research, I know that a lot of it with the bottles and stuff and the different tins I found, it used to come in like a block form. So it doesn't seem right that this bottle would have had opium in it. So I'm actually thinking it probably mm-hmm. had, it was probably morphine or a little perfume bottle um, or perhaps a liquid version of, uh, I don't know. But it's probably one of the coolest bottles. I, I got home, I showed it to John. I'm like, we can get rid of every bottle I have because this is probably the coolest. <laughs> um, <laughs> wow. And then I got a little silver monogram that says IHS, a little pendant. What and a does V-nickel. What for, you think? Hmm? Oh, cool. Yeah. What does the IHS stand for, you think? I don't know. Someone's name, maybe? Someone's name. 
Very interesting. Well, it sounds like you had a wonderful, wonderful um, little treasure hunt. Yeah, yep. It wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. Did you get my email? I did. I'm already in. I typed in hi okay. all. <laughs> good, good. Okay, we're all set with that. So, how are you? How was your weekend? It was good. Ended up. Um, we kind of had a makeup day for uh, the last time. I got to go out with the uh, Smith County Treasure Club um, to a um, World War II fort. Um, and it was um, a lot of fun. I had a great day. I will have a video coming up about it in the, hopefully in the near future, but I'm way behind on, on editing things, so it's going to take a while for me to get there, I'm sure. But I did find a dog tag, so nice. I'll be researching that. That was really exciting. <laughs> Got a button from World War II as well as... Now, what's weird, hunting the World War II stuff um, at an actual fort and training facility, it's so different because, you know, I'm used to hunting older stuff than that, like more like uh, Civil War and things like that. So mm-hmm. it was totally different, but it was really fun. Had a blast doing it. Um, last time we got rained out and... Uh, so it was a lot of fun getting hot here in Texas. Um, I know you don't know much about that. <laughs> uh, hey, now, we got up to but, 70 today, I think. 70. Hey, look at you. I know. Wow. <laughs> it was probably 90s here today. I don't even know anymore. But um, nice and muggy, too. Uh, we've had a lot of rain lately. So, um, But anyway... Uh, other than that, uh, what else? I did get out before that. Um, I got to go to um, Vicksburg, and <clears throat> I've videoed at a Civil War museum there um, that I'll have an upcoming uh, video for my YouTube channel there, and then got to go hunt on some private property, dug up some Civil War bullets and other little odds and ends, so great time there as well. So, um, a lot of fun. Um, I really, really enjoyed my trip to Vicksburg, even though it was a very short one, uh, just getting to see some of these old world buildings there that I took some photos and posted those on Facebook, something new that I'm exploring and researching, uh, who knows, maybe about an upcoming book or something, but fascinating stuff um but anyway enough about all that i think we need to bring in our special guest today really excited to have her back on and um um i know that we got to see her at um bone and i know we'll get to talk more about that coming up but i will go ahead and bring in on our guest all right, everybody give a warm welcome to Steph Tangway. Hey, Steph. Hey, hey, what's going on, everybody? Hey, hey, we're so glad to have you here. I know Amanda and I were just, uh, had been talking about it uh, the last podcast about how much we enjoyed our trip and bone and hanging out with you again. It was, it was so nice. Um, yeah, we had a blast. We had such a great week. <laughs> that was fun. Yes. And I don't think I'd seen you in about five years because I feel like the last time I saw you was at Pound the Ground in 2019, which is when deplorable. I was sick as a dog. <laughs> yeah, well, you were no, sick. You had I think I just saw a you. frog in your throat. <laughs> oh, gosh. That was, that was miserable. Amanda can attest to that. Me laying yeah. down in the field, I was so sick and <laughs> huddled up, freezing freezing to death. Oh, it was cold even and, for me. That's why I was hiding in the, the garret van with you and, at one point. And I, I think, right, and I think that's what's worse when you're sick. It's like oh, that yeah. that cold, it's like bone chilling, frozen, when all you want to do is curl up and go to sleep and go to bed. <laughs> and yep. having to hide out in the, the van and not even hide out. I was just huddled up. I was just still even Oh, gosh, that was the most... You must have been wearing four layers and still just in there shivering. 
<laughs> it was yeah. awful because I was oh, running man. a fever for sure. I know. Oh, and the wind gusts easy. were at least 50 miles an hour that day. I remember a lot of the tents just like peaked tents out. They took a hike away. and went flying. You know, right. <laughs> you know it's bad because for those who, you know, don't spend a lot of time at the booths and stuff, we was ratcheting and we've got stakes in the ground. I mean, we really, all of us secure the tents very well. So for things to go flying, that takes <laughs> tremendous force of the wind. Um, <laughs> you know, but it, really it happens. Does. It's always windy at events, although bone was good. We didn't have too much money, which I, is really nice. I do think, though, we did get to see you. I think Amanda and I got to see you uh, a couple of years back at one of the, um, I'm pretty sure it was like one of the dig stocks, maybe. You know what? It may have been. Yeah. I'm just, you know, but we just sometimes didn't get to they spend all seem to run time. together. They do. Yeah. We didn't get to spend much yeah. time because you were busy at a tent. I was busy at a tent. And... Amanda That's was probably it. Yeah. And so you know, it, um, it ends in the blink of an eye. These events, you know, they, they feel like they last two weeks because you're exhausted at the end of them, especially when right. you're a sponsor there, you know, when, because a lot of people don't realize we don't really get much sleep, you know, cause we're up at four or four thirty in the morning to set up before the mm-hmm. attendees show up. And then we're the last ones there when it's dark out. So, you know, um, <laughs> It's a, it's a lot. It's so, so you feel true. really wiped out at the end, and it's like, oh, I didn't even get and to say hello to everybody. And we're standing all day. We're yeah. standing and walking yeah. all That's day. T- long. You know, the walking isn't so tough for me, but when I'm standing all day, I just I right. made a resolution to myself after this event that we had last week or the week before, is that I need to start walking laps around the tent on the rare occasion that it's actually like you know the activities died down. We were very busy this whole time, though. I will say. But um, if we ever have like a lull, I need to just do laps around the tent. <laughs> so that'll be my my key to keeping my feet from hurting so bad at the end of the day, you know. But uh, I think we all have a blast doing that. And that's why we do what we do, you know. So. Right. Well, I and I'm really still it. working on. Go ahead. I was going to say I appreciated you all being there and having a tent because my machine I was as I I talked to you know everyone <laughs> last week about it my machine <laughs> was on his last legs like it it had duct tape <laughs> and even more duct tape and um I didn't have a screen oh, protector so it wobbled uh pieces were just you know <laughs> it was it was we well you worn it, so that's good <laughs> Oh, and they man. did a little TLC yeah. and fixing up, but y'all got her all over there for. We got Debbie, all you know. <laughs> Debbie was great. She I said, bring it over. And I had, you know, there was, I forget which day it was. I think we got back from doing uh, one of the sites in the morning and we split the afternoon and then we were on our way back. And I was like, you know what? This is a perfect time. I think it was an hour, hour and a half before the, the hunt, before you're supposed to get off the fields. And I'm like, nobody's mm-hmm. at Mine Lab. I'm like, woo, I go over. And she, <laughs> you and, hit a ha- rare pocket in time. Yes. I mean, <laughs> I tried. Us up. I've tried to look and you'd have to buy the individual parts and this, that, and the other. And even then I wasn't sure it was the right parts. And then someone said, just bring your sure, machine yeah. into a hardware store. And I'm like, eh, don't really, don't really want to do that. <laughs> um, but Debbie yeah, was awesome. Yeah. Awesome. I am so glad like you all were there. Like, well, besides the fact that yeah. I got to dig with you, um, it was awesome. 